Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you play a song called He'll Have to Go by Jim Reeves. And it starts out on an A major chord, and we'll talk about where we're going to move this for key in a moment. But the way you play A major, first finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, third finger is going to go to the B string on the second fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds like an A major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the A major chord, we're going to go into an E major chord. The way you play E major, first finger is going to go to the G string on the first fret, second finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like E major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the E major, we're going to be going back to the A, and then going back to the E major for our intro. But a lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 3-4 like this, like kind of, kind of a country waltz, is a down, down, up, down, up. So we just took the, the A and just tried that a lot. You'd have down, down, up, down, up, A, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, one, two, and three, and down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So we try that through our intro. We got A, down, up, down, up, E, down, down, up, down, up, A, down, down, up, down, up, E, down, down, up, down, up. And then from there we'll be going into our verses. And our verses kind of start on A major, but then we go to a D major chord. And the way you play D major, first finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the high E on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the B string on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, kind of the skinny four strings, that'll give you your clear sound with that. And that's called a D major, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the D major, we go right back to the A major, another A major, another A major. to A major, but then we're going to go to an A7 chord, or at least this is an option. You could just stay on the A major, but if you lift off the second finger, which is kind of a dangerous finger to lift, um, then, then you, you can turn your A major into an A7 chord, which sounds like it's got a little bit more bite. So I've got first finger on the D string, second fret, third finger on the B string on the second fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds like an A7 chord, and that chord helps point to a D major, which is where we kind of go to next. And then we go back to A major, E major, A major, and the first time we kind of go back to that E major, we kind of set ourselves up to start the verse over again. Now, if we try that with our strum pattern, then we have A down, up, down, D down, down, up, down, up, A down. part that comes up later. The weird thing is to play along with the recording, instead of starting on an A major chord, Jim Reeves is actually starting on a C sharp major chord. So if you take your capo to play along with the recording and kind of put it on fourth fret, then now we got an A major, it's really a C sharp major, and your D major is really an F sharp major. And uh, yeah, that's a, yeah, that's right, yeah. So your D major is really an F sharp major. And then your E major is really a G sharp major. And when we get to it, the A7 is really a C sharp major. So we tried that through the intro. We have our A down, up, down, E down, down, up, down, up, A down, down, up, down, E down, down, up, down, up. And then we try that through our verse. We have the A down, up, down, D down, down, up, down.
piece of that where we got D major down and down D down down and down B down down and down B down down and down D down down and down D down down and down B down down and down B down down and down up and then we're kind of back to our verse form for our outro is A down and down D down Here where you could go like two on the G, fourth on the A, and then second on the D, and then fourth on the A, and then kind of do the A and kind of simulate that like chime part in, in the recording is it A major. So that could be a cool little thing to add too. Now one other thing I would think about adding is bass notes to these. And what I mean by that is on your A major chord, your open A string is actually kind of your bass for that, that chord. So you can take your first down of the strum pattern and kind of play just a bass note instead. So you have A with an A bass, down, up, down, up, A with an A bass, down, up, down, up, A with an A bass, down, up, down, A with an A bass, down, up, down, 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 down. And when you get to your E major chord, you can use the open E string for your E majors. So open E, down, up, down, up, E with an E bass, down, up, down, up, E with an E bass, down, up, down, up, E with an E bass, down, up, down, down. And when we get to the D chord, oh, you'd have the D string for your bass on your D chord. with some bass walks and what I mean by that is like on the A major sometimes it can kind of sound really good to kind of throw in some bass notes to kind of lead to your bass on the D chord so so one way to kind of we'll kind of walk up into a D chord we go in A B C sharp D to kind of end your bass note and actually those notes would kind of work to, to walk back you so you could do open D Third, or a fourth fret on the A and the second fret on the A, which would kind of lead back to your A major chord in this meter. Like you're kind of working the three notes D, C sharp, B, A. And then from there, actually, if we were kind of working our, 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 
entire wall from an A to an E chord, you'd have open A, fourth fret on low E, second fret, open E. So kind of use an A, G sharp, F sharp to walk to an E chord. So that may be something else you want to kind of play. And actually, uh, walking from the E back to the A, you could do those same notes. We'd have E, F sharp, G sharp, open A, fifth A. So we tried that through the verse. So that there, there are lots of places you could do these, these walks. But you could have the A major, D major, A major, A major, A major, A major walk to E, 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 walk to A, A7, walk to D, D walk back to A. Two A's together, you could do the strum pattern on the first A. The bass walk to walk into your D chord for the bridge, and you got an opportunity to kind of walk that note back to A, and then kind of walk it back to D, and then walk it back to A. But then you kind of have to jump into the E major. So there are lots of opportunities where you could use those walks. But that's the basics of how you could strum through Heel Have to Go by Jim Reeves. So good luck!